Hello there. I want to talk a bit about razor angle because razor angle is really important to a successful and comfortable straight razor shave. And a lot of people will tell you you have to find the angle that's right for you when you first learn to straight, straight shave. And that is true. And I have found that a, a very close angle where the spine is close to the face works really well for me. And uh, most people say one to two spine widths away from your cheek. And I have found that about one spine width or one and a half at the most is perfect for me on most razors. But there are some razors that require a closer angle. Uh, some razors will work with a closer angle or a wider angle. But to me, the closer one is more comfortable. Take, for instance, like a frame back. Like, like this razor. That's a true frame back. It's not a faux frame back. Now I have a faux frame back that is basically a hologram blade. But it has like a spine that looks like it's kind of um, hinting at a frame back. And they're called faux frame backs. They're not really frame backs, but they're shaped similar to it. But that's a hollow ground blade, and it works really fine in my normal shaving angle. But for something like this, if you look at this blade, that's really thin. Uh, for comparison, see how thick that shank is there? See the difference between these two? It's a it's a much thinner, thinner blade, much, much thinner. Or rather blank. The blank the blade was made out of. This also will cause issues. Stropping, you need to be careful. Stropping something like this because it's a really thin shank and it will play havoc with rolling between your thumb and your forefinger. Uh, and if you try to fly on it, at least for me, it'll slice up your straw. So, but back to what I was talking about. I mean, if you look at this, super, super thin. So my normal angle ain't going to work with this because it's too far away from my face. Because this blade is so thin, even, even when you add the, the frame back part of it. It's still thinner than a regular straight razor's uh, spine. You're going to have to put it closer to your cheek to cut smooth. Otherwise, uh, this thing can slice hairs like a laser beam and you'll think that the thing is dull and not shave ready when you go to shave with it because it will tug and pull and carry on and all kind of stuff. Because the angle is too much, too far out. Same thing with something like a, a wedge. For a wedge razor, I have found that sometimes if you pull them further away from your face, they shave better. And sometimes, it just depends on the razor, if you do like you do with that razor and push it a little bit more towards your cheek, the thing shaves smooth as silk. But if you don't find that angle... Your razor's not going to shave. Now, it'll shave, but it won't shave close. It won't shave comfortable. Now, the reason I'm making this video is there's a lot of new shavers out there. And they're running around trying all different kinds of grinds if they can find them. Stuff like that. Uh, and they don't understand that, look, sometimes that angle is going to be a different thing. Depending on the razor that you're using. Uh, the razor that you have. Uh, that's why, I'm, you know, they generally make like a general recommendation of 5 eighths, uh, half hollow, uh, or quarter hollow uh, razor because that's like in the middle, 5 eighths, half hollow, or 6 eighths, half hollow, something like that. So that's always the go-to. People says, what grind should I, and what size razor should I start with, 5 eighths or 6 eighths? Uh, half hollow is what is like the general response people give. 
Shave with what you got. Shave with the razor that you have. Don't worry about beginner recommendations. You can learn to use any kind of straight razor that's out there. If you remember that the spine, the distance from that cheek to you to that spine, you gotta find that spot. Once you find that sweet, it's kind of it's the same thing with a DE. If you're coming from a DE. Some DEs you have to have more of an angle this way. Some DEs you kind of have more of an angle that way. It just that's the way the razors made. It's the same with one of these. Not all they're not all exactly the same. There's a wide variety of different straight razors out there. You need to find the angle that is comfortable for you. Uh, the number one problem that most straight razor users that are new have is that they've got that angle. Oh, I had a rough shave. The, the shave doesn't, the razor doesn't feel sharp. Well, if it came to you shave ready and you didn't mess it up on your strop or something like that, and that's harder to do than most people think. With a strop, I can roll an edge on a strop real easy, but the problem with that theory that everybody tries to say, oh, you ruined your razor, and now you got to have a hone on a strop, particularly if you have a strop that's got a cloth side, and the leather side if i roll that edge i can do some more passes and pretty much at least half the time i can straighten that out like it never even happened especially if i flip over to like the cloth side that's a bit more aggressive and i strop deliberately and softly but with the right uh technique uh where the spine and the edge are both hitting that uh cloth and leather at the same time uh, one or two passes, wrong passes on a strop is not going to roll your edge and ruin it forever. And you'll have to send it. You can go back and that's what that strop does is realign an edge. So it doesn't matter whether the edge went like that or whether it went like that, which is what happens when you shave. The edge gets all wavy and stuff and the strop straightens it up just the same way that a steel on a kitchen knife does it's not sharpening that it's realigning that edge from here to here so that that sharp edge can cut in a straight line same thing with a straight razor so if you roll it like that or it does like that don't make a dime's worth of difference you can take it to that strop and fix it at least half the time probably more than that so but just remember angle find the right angle find it Learn it, live it, love it, and you'll have better shapes. All right. God bless you. I'll talk to you later.